Hello everyone and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and today we're going to be doing a quick video. If you watched my vlog that went out last night, I think it was, I mentioned about a bunch of stuff that I had from Darkstar and and from an e-liquid point of view, you know that I don't do e-liquid reviews. However, the reason I wanted to give this its own video, where I was previously only going to give it a mention in a vlog, was because I think it's absolutely a fantastic system. If you're as lazy as I am and you don't always want to get out syringes or you don't want to get out your scales, you don't want to make a whole bunch of mess and all that sort of stuff, this is even easier than the one-shot stuff I showed you before in the last mixing video. This, uh, what we're going to be doing today, is going to get 500 mil of juice and it's going to round about cost and I'll explain how I got to the costings a roundabout cost if you're paying 16 17 quid for 30 mil at the moment this would equate to about two pounds 40 for a bottle of 30 mil and uh, so we're going to get 500 mil of juice at the end of this bad boy and uh, yeah let's have a little mix up and see what we can do shall we it's so easy right car then all right, so as I suggested in the introduction, we're not going to be using any syringes or measurements or anything like that. We're going to be going at it on this one, and this is a nice, and it doesn't get any easier than this to mix your uh, your e-liquid. Now then, what we've got here is the bottle shot of the bottle shot of the Dark Nemesis, which is the one that we're using today, fifteen ninety nine, and that is for the five hundred mil option. Now, obviously, you can choose a lower amount at eight ninety nine, two hundred and fifty mil, or the th the one liter at 26.99 but today we're using the 500 so that's what we're going to be stuck with now then uh, it does tell you that we've got strawberry custard it gives us an idea of the flavor it does also give us an idea of steep time or suggested steep time uh, but with this as always I would suggest to uh, have a little taste of it every now and again just to see how it's getting on and if it's going anywhere near the sort of flavor that you're happy to vape with now then next we've got the fact that if you wish to add nicotine you'll need to add the correct number of of, nicot of uh, compliant nicotine shots before topping up with your base mix which we'll come to in a second. It also tells us that we are 20% filled with flavour. And then underneath here if we do want to use uh, actual amounts of, uh, if you want to measure stuff, if you want to use syringes and all that sort of gubbins, it does tell you how much you can mix for uh, a thousand mil, 500 mil and 250 mil on the website here and it tells you in three milligram and six milligram obviously it doesn't tell you more than that but uh, you, it's easy enough to get that information uh, and this is for mixing instruction for a 70% VG mix now we're going to be going a little bit higher than that because the base mix that I'm using is uh, an 8515 but uh, but you know you'll get the idea so the other thing that we do want to go to is look because we're not going to be doing this sort of section here we're not going to be doing the uh, the adding a certain amount of milliliters to the uh, to the e-liquid what we're going to be doing is using their nicotine shots so if you go to their FAQ section that takes us to this page right here now plenty of stuff there to answer all your questions about mixing but at the same time it also gives us this little bit of information about the nicotine shots to achieve your desired nicotine Nicotine strength when using our 10 mil, 80 milligram nicotine shots, we recommend you use the calculations shown on this chart. So for me, I want to vape at three milligram. Whoop, I don't want to do that. I want to vape at three milligram and we're mixing at 500 mil. So this means that we're looking at 8.3 bottles. So, you know, yes, you can. I'm going to be doing it by eye today, uh, but you can measure it out if you really want to, to that 83 millimeters. But I'm going to be using a approximately eight and a third on the nicotine because you know I can cope with a little tiny bit of difference but that is it that's as easy as it gets that's all the information available on the dark star website and uh, now let's go into mixing some juice shall we so here we are then I've got some latex gloves on already just so we can make sure that we are nice and safe throughout this process although this is going to be a super simple process now then what we're going to be using as I said earlier on is going to be the bottle shot the nemesis the strawberry one from Darkstar um, and this is the 500 mil as you can see just about there and uh, like I say it gives you a whole bunch of information if you want to see what it says on the side there hopefully that will uh, focus in on the big on the big screen 
for you right there. So this is what we're going to be using. Now everything else we need is super easy. All we're going to be needing is a base mix, which is the 85 to 15, which I'm quite happy with using because that's the uh, that's the kind of level that I want to be hitting. And um, these are the nicotine shots that we're going to be going for as well. This is the box that I showed you in the vlog. So. If we undo this box, um, and we've just got a whole bunch of different bottles there now. Uh, when we were just looking at the screen, it said we needed eight of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I've still got another, what's that, six, seven, eight, nine left in there. So plenty of space there. What have we got in there? Look, look, a whole bunch of nicotine shot information there as well. Um, it doesn't tell you. It'd be lovely if they did these and actually had the little thing that they had on their on their website with this as well, just to show how much you can mix. But uh, there we go. Um, move that out of the way. Now then, so as I said, these are the ones that we're going to be using. Four, eight, and nine. So before we start mixing, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that we've got a nice and safe work area because by putting a little bit of uh, this blue towel down here, it means that any spillage, any drippage, then I can see that. So what I'm going to make sure I do is keep all my nicotine bottles on there once they're opened um, and then I can dispose of them to a nice safe place just so we don't get any drips because you don't want any drips of nicotine obviously on your, uh, on your build mat or anything like that, even though this is only 18 milligram you don't really want to be just making a habit of that one so what we're going to go for next is uh, I'm just going to open all these bad boys up and get them ready so let's go Right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the nozzle on this final one because we're only using a third of this bottle. So um, the, those eight I'm going to be emptying it fully into the mixture, but for this one I'm going to leave it as is just so I can use a third of it. Now then let's get into the uh, concentrate or the one shot. So this is what we've got here. This is the uh, one that I just showed you a second ago. So the next job is just to empty all of the uh, all of the, uh, the nicotine into it. So that's the eight bottles done. I'm now going to just try and add a third of this one. That's roughly a third of that nicotine shot all done and dusted. So that can go back in the box to use next time. And then finally, it's just mixing up the, uh, the base mix here. And there we have it. What I've done is I have left, I can't tip the bottle obviously, but I have left um, probably about um, 20 mil maybe of juice between, of space, sorry, between the bottom of the neck and the top of the juice line there. Now, once I add this top on, like so, we've now got a hoofing great bottle of, uh, of juice, which I'm now going to shake the bejesus out of. Okay, so I'll see you back up top. All right, so those were the up close. We got to see Darkstar's website when I did the screen stuff. We got to see how easy it was to mix this big bad boy. Now, as I mentioned, I have shaken it up like a monster. So the fact that it looks quite cloudy is just because you've got all the air bubbles in there, which you just won't see on camera. I highly, highly doubt. But uh, yeah, I mean, we shouldn't really do it because it needs a steep time. However, I am going to give this a little bit of a test now as well, just to see if it tastes anything like like we should do. I mean, we've got, let's say, three, four weeks steep time, it suggests. However, you know, you've got to have a little taste of it and see or have when it when it tickles your fancy. Uh, they do give you these little these little cappy things as well. Um, I don't think you have to order those separately. Go on, focus your bugger. There we go. And they fit on top of the big bad boy bottles. Now then, um, obviously what I'll do is once I do get to a point where I think the juice is good enough, what I'm going to do is decant it into, I've got a bunch of Gorilla bottles, chubby Gorilla bottles that I got from Herman Vapes. Um, and so I'll decant a as I, as and when I need it into into that. However, for the time being, and just to show you what I'm doing, I've just re-wicked the old uh, what's it called? Skill RDA. So we're going to bang a quick a little bit of juice on here. Let me just fold the wicks under, 
and we're just going to give it a taste just because it's a nice way of ending out the uh, ending out the video really but uh, but like i said in the intro the cost of this can be very 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 low i mean this will equate to around about a 70 30 mix because although we used 85 percent uh, vg in the uh, in the base mix Obviously, once you've added your nicotine shots to it and all that sort of jazz, then uh, that's going to increase your uh, your your PG amount. Yeah, amount. Uh, so yeah, so it's not going to be it's not going to be full bore. But you know, if you did want to add just regular nicotine, you can get that from Dark Star's site as well. I'm just having to concentrate so I don't pour this all over my computer. Um, you can get the whole full shifter from uh, from Darkstar if you want to, and uh, and have you know proper max VG if that kind of tickles your taste buds, but uh, but no, we're nearly there. We're sucking it up. There's a whole mess of juice in there. We going for it. We're going for it. We're getting there. A little bit. Oh, it smells glorious. It smells good. Right. Let's get this cap on and have a vape, shall we? Righty ho, here we go then. So 70, what I say about 70, 30 mix. Uh, the strawberry, no steep time at all. It's going to need steep time. It's not going to be brilliant, but let's give it a crack anyway. 77.7 .7 watts. Yeah, that, that obviously it needs steep time. I mean, why wouldn't it? Um, there's a little bit of throatiness there. However, the strawberry is cutting through. It's a really nice natural strawberry flavour. Um, and there's a little bit of that cream happening already as well. So uh, with a bunch of time leaving this to steep, I think that is going to turn out to be a damn nice juice. And it also gives the nicotine a chance to just calm itself down a little bit. Can you see me? Calm itself down a little bit before uh, or to stop you getting that kind of throatier feeling. So if you do mix your juice and you get that sort of throatiness to start with don't worry about it initially because it needs just time to mix itself all up on a molecular level and all sorts of clever crazy things so all in all i just wanted to show you how easy it was to make 500 ml of juice and like i said at 500 ml for the nemesis the flavoring that was 15.99 a thousand ml of the base uh 7.99 18 nick shots and bearing in mind that I use just less than half of those and less uh, and about half of the uh, or less than half of the base liquid the nicotine shots are 15.99 also so 15.99 7.99 and 15.99 equates to 39.97 now if you divide that by um by 500 i suppose you could do it by a thousand really divide it by 500 and then and then uh, multiply it by 30 that gives you the two pound 40 level which means that a bottle of 30 mil of your now pre-made well made up juice that you've thrown together at home a little bit in a haphazard way um has just cost you two pounds 40 per 30 mil which is cheap as piss sure you can do it even cheaper if you do want to go down the whole mixing route if you do want to use you know get all your scales and your syringe and stuff and things and uh, and really mix it up short sure, you can however the reason I'm showing you this is because there's a lot of people out there that don't want to get involved with all of that they just want to dump stuff in a bottle and vape away and that is exactly what's happening right here folks so that's all I got to say thank you very much for watching I've been Dean the Vaping Biker this has been a really really super simple mixing can't even really class it as a mixing video really can you but it's been uh, super simple let's have a little vape and we'll get out of here and we'll do a proper review tomorrow shall we Thanks very much for watching and have it large!